have judged you worthy to see the weapon we will use to win this war. I, Twist Chong Yi, have wrestled with dragons and brought back the secret of their fiery breath. I have contained this power within this vehicle, and we will send it forth to destroy our enemies. Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays Kerbal Collaborative Warfare, the version of Kerbal Space Program where five different YouTubers have come together to fight it out in battles of missiles, guns, alliances, and uh, probably one or two betrayals along the way. But until we start doing that, I want to tell you the story of this. My perfect plan for today, or at least it was going to be, this is the mongoose, the winged mongoose. The main bit I want to draw your attention to is those landing legs underneath, the nice little robotic ones. Uh, they were amazing, and uh, aside from one or two flight issues, I thought this would be a perfect way to start our, uh, our episode. So that would be all good then, right? You know, throw some weapons on it, launch that out, throw a tank out, that's my two, two actions done for the turn. All done, right? Well, that's not quite. The last bit of footage you watched was done just after my last turn. I was starting to think about what I was going to do. Now, when I started recording for actually this episode, this is what happened. And not just once or twice, I mean it happened a lot. I had seen these legs work. I, know, I knew that they were a viable option, but unfortunately, crash after crash, tweak after tweak, I uh, just, I tried and tried and tried. I put like far too much time into trying to get these legs to work and it just wasn't working. Eventually I had to just come to the realization that for some reason this week, this design was not going to work. So I've put the legs into a sub-assembly, you know, a fully articulated leg like that. That's that's quite a useful thing that could be used for something. Uh, and we're just going to have to go for with a fixed leg, which makes me sad beyond all comparison. But for what purpose are we actually making this plane? Well, Twitch Zhong Yi has used his marvellous telepathic abilities to look through the eyes of the weather satellite, and he tells us that our friend across the water has had some suspicious movements going on at his base. So it is up to Tamti there to go and find out what is actually going on. Now, we could have used the weather satellite to actually go down and have a look, because, you know, that's one of the, the rules that have been granted to us. But I thought it'd be much better if we sent a spy out to have a look. You know, a little bit element of danger. Nothing overly aggressive quite yet. You know, I don't want to be going up and destroying everything before, like we have a chance to, to, to get going and I was really expecting to have been a bit more reactionary I was expecting someone else to have done something here but anyway we're going to set ourselves to the attacking team and turn off this camera wobble for us to jump forwards to the very edge of my territory okay so this water underneath us here is the dividing line between mine and tapes territory as far as I'm aware anyway until bases start getting taken and that base over there is the t closest base that tape has to me so th this is kind of probably going to be the stretch of water where things go back and forth but i can see many fuzzy points down there you can see that there's a flag sort of bracket that's the light green one the yellow target and another pink one so that means there's definitely at least two vehicles there and i'd like to get down there and have a bit of a look but hopefully without threatening tamty because you know loot Losing a pilot at this point in time, well, she's actually an engineer, but, you know, losing a pilot at this point in time would be, uh, unacceptable. You know, this, this is the second week of war. We, we don't really want to be doing that. Okay, so I'm now within, uh, d detection range. I, I should imagine tape has put everything up at five kilometers like everyone else. And immediately I have gathered two bits of intelligence, maybe even three. I know there's a defensive turret down there. By the name of my target, I know he has a VTOL down there, and I can also see a route of approach that doesn't actually get me in much danger. So with that, we're going to pull away because we're not we're not here for a, a, an aggressive engagement yet. And we're just going to come in uh, for a nice gentle landing. Of course, as with any time that I try to land an aircraft, gentle is a relative term. We did lose the air brakes off the bottom, but that's uh, that's quite all right. What we're going to do now is just kind of like park this up over by those hangars there on the left and just leave it on guard mode, I think. You know, this is what, it, this is what we're here for. This is going to be maybe probably our main staging post. It could probably end up being our Pearl Harbor, but, you know. Do we? Do we have it? Is it on? Kerbals of Klaatu, listen to me. Do not believe your leader's lies. Look at how he treats those most loyal to him. 
This footage was taken from the military parade he had earlier today. Those who attended knew too much. There was only one vehicle. They were all put to death. What's that noise? They're here already! Citizens, leave your country! It is the only- Oh! No! Ah! Probably won't notice, and then it will kill him two days later, and then the whole world will be ours for the taking. But, you know, that's not going to be for a couple of turns yet. So, um, what I'm going to show you in the background here, the latest addition to the Clathu ground forces is, of course, the Platypus. Relatively light on the arms and armament on this one. Uh, you'll see up front we've got the goalkeeper because I thought it was about time we got some big weapon out. A couple of surface-to-air missiles on the back that I forget the name of. But the most important feature of this, we're actually going to have to go to another save to see like the full potential for. Welcome to the testing save and the totally random choice of launch site Black Crags. We're here to launch the Grub from the back of the Platypus, the Grub of course being our short to medium range missile here. I found this warhead in the weapons subdivision of the part repository. And as I am at that beautiful honeymoon stage of using this mod where I'm just kind of throwing crazy ideas out in random combinations, I've come up with this. A vital part of any weapons development process is uh, of course pushing its ranges, finding out what the boundaries of use are. So I just wanted to find out what the full range extension of this flight would possibly be. Already we have covered the distance from the Black Crags up to the very channel that separates me and tape so I'm relatively happy about the the range of this uh, and as we are just starting to run out of fuel we are mere meters away from the floor and with an explosion and a look back towards our target we, I can tell you we have flown 37 kilometers. It's a very useful number that. So, back in the collaborative save, and we're going to turn the weapon manager on. Now, I was having real difficulty trying to decide where to actually put this vehicle, because obviously we want to keep it close to the base so it can be protected by all the other vehicles around, but at the same time, we don't want them all so close together that a single bomb will just take us out in one pop. Uh, that would be very bad. Okay, De death is bad. So whilst I drive this around and try and find a good spot for it, I just want to explain myself just a little bit of why I always seem to be pointed towards tape. Uh, so having a chat around, he is pretty much the only one that has expressed a very strong opinion that he wants the KSC. So I want to make sure that I'm protected in that particular direction, that I can guarantee next time I'm going to go be having a look at Space Game Junkie's place because he is just to the north of me. But anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!